Hello everyone, today I'm going to review a great budget ultra wide angle lens for the Fujifilm X system, the TT Artisan 10mm f2. I was waiting for TT Artisan to release a lens like this. I think at the moment they make some of the best budget lenses for the Fujifilm X system, and I am glad they started making autofocus lenses. I hope in the near future they will make a wide angle lens with autofocus, but today we are going to check this manual 10mm f2 lens that has a few tricks up its sleeve that make it stand out. Let's talk about build quality, like most TT Artisan lenses this is very well built, all metal and glass, but keep in mind this is a fully manual lens, it is not weather sealed and has no electronic contacts, so no EXIF data. Gladly it has an aperture ring with clicks that is well damped and turns smoothly, the downside is that it is a bit narrow and sometimes hard to use. The focus ring on the other hand is wide enough turns smoothly and it is a joy to use and nail focus which is not that hard with a wide angle lens and Fujifilm picking. This lens comes with two lens caps, yep you heard that right, two lens caps and here is the first trick, something other brands should take in consideration when making lenses like this. You can mount on the lens a 72mm filter adapter that can come in handy for long exposures or astrophotography, it's a wide angle lens after all. So one of the caps is for the lens when it doesn't have the adapter and one is for the adapter, yes the metal one, the rubber one is for the lens without the adapter. It's a pretty nice trick, great job TT Artisan. So the overall build quality is great, love the filter adapter and the nice smooth finish. Now let's talk about image quality and I'm going to start with video this time because this lens is great for video, just look how gorgeous this footage looks. It has that vintage look some people want to achieve with vintage lenses and those colors, this lens is a perfect match for Fujifilm cameras. Being such a wide angle lens it is great if you want to use it with 6K or 4K HQ on the Fujifilm X-T5 because they have a crop. The footage in this video is recorded in 6K and looks so good in my opinion. Also the focus breathing is very well controlled, so are flares as you can see in this footage here. Pretty good so far for a $159 lens. And now let's talk about photography. I like wide angle lenses, they are great for architecture, landscape and travel overall. And this lens has a characteristic I love for my photos. And this is the next trick, sun stars. The TT Artisan 10mm f2 has nice looking sun stars starting from f2.8 and great looking at f5.6, beyond that there is not a big difference. The overall image quality is good, at f2 the lens has decent sharpness in the center of the frame but the corners close to the edge of the image are soft. If you stop down to f2.8 the image quality in the center of the frame is great and the corners see a small improvement. At f4 the sharpness in the center improves just a bit over an overall great performance at f2.8, the corners are still a bit soft. From here the only improvement is going to be in the corners, but they never get super sharp, not even at f8, but I'm talking about the far corners close to the image frame. If you crop just a bit you will get great image quality from corner to corner. The minimum focus distance is 25cm and the image quality at f2 is a bit soft. The good news is that you only need to stop down to f2.8 and the image is sharp. Also the distortion on this lens is very well controlled, it has a bit of distortion but nothing to worry about. Overall a good performance, you can see some chromatic aberrations at f2 but mostly in the corners, the same with loca, if you stop the lens down to f2.8 they go away. So in my opinion TT Artisan made another winning lens, 
For the price it is a must have, good image quality, in the center of the frame, great sun stars, the filter adapter, beautiful colors for video and of course great build quality. This is now my second favorite TT Artisan manual lens after the 35mm f1.4. To sum it up, this lens is staying in my camera bag. If this video was helpful, subscribe, ring the bell, and if you want to support the channel even more, use the links in the description at no extra cost to you. See you next time.